What's up guys? Uh, sorry for the delay in getting another video out. Um, works has been crazy busy, so I've not really had a chance, but uh, here's another live fault finding video um, where I went to investigate a problem with heating and hot water on a wire plan system. Uh, a couple of engineers had been out there before me. Uh, someone had said they need a new cylinder. Someone said they need a new boiler. Uh, didn't need anything like that. It was just a simple uh, investigation of a three port valve um, and then getting things up and running. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, as ever, if you do like my videos, if you do watch them regularly and you're not subscribing, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Um, and if you do like any of the videos, drop a like, drop a comment, um, and I'll get back to you uh, if you've got any questions on those. Enjoy the video, guys. Right, call out an Enfield, suspected faulty motorized valve. Um, customers saying that the heating only comes on when they run the hot water. No demands are on. But that is just sort of spring back so that's telling me it's probably a faulty motor inside there so we're gonna go and put the heating demand on and see if that changes anything all right heating is on there yep. okay, so that's up to maximum let's see if that zone valve is motoring over well, we still haven't got any demand here. No, nah, same. So I'm going to whip this head off, test the motor, test the spindle on this three-port. It looks like they've had a new three-port change recently, or I think this is a new one. Actually, this is a new one. Someone's just been and changed the motorized head, so we might need to change the whole thing. Let's have a look. The mine is still on. I've loosened both screws. We should be able to pop that off and see if that... Motor's over. Nah, see, that motor. Motor's completely gone. Right, so let's check this spindle. That's moving quite freely. So that's telling me that the body should be okay. We just need to change the synchro motor. So I'm gonna grab one from the van. I don't know about you guys, but I don't fancy changing the body if I don't have to because I hate it when you've got nuts on street elbows. There's just, I just feel that they don't go in properly. So, I mean, that spin was moving quite freely anyway. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change the motor over, which I've got here. There's the part number, if anyone wants to screenshot that, that's from Wolseley. And then we'll make sure that's not passing. Right, new synchronized motor's in. Now, if I take that off manual, that should spring back. Lovely. And now we've got resistance and it springs back. All right, Jenny, if you turn the thermostat up for me. Right, there we go. That's smart ring over. Click. Pumps come on. Now I'm going to measure the temperature. My temperature clamps, that's the heating side, hot water side. We just want to make sure that we haven't got heat going down the hot water side and only down the heating side. Right, so the heating's working fine. I've turned the heating down, but obviously three port it stays in its last position. Hot water demand is on. I've turned the cylinder stack down. I'm gonna turn that up now. I'm gonna see that spindle move back, which it does lovely stuff so i'm just going to check the temperature differentials and make sure that isn't going up because that's the heating side and make sure that one is because now we only want hot water and there we have it body is absolutely fine it's not letting by on heating hot water change the synchro motor in this everything's working exactly how it should cheaper option for the customer Quick repair for me, on to the next one.